Good morning you guys, it's Karen and I'm here to do another review of a sunscreen. This one is the SOS Hydrating Moisturising Day Cream SPF 30. Um, I did not buy the SPF 50 in this because the SPF 50 has avobenzone in it and that's what I'd prefer to avoid. Um, this however does have octisalate in it. I don't know if I knew that when I bought it um, because I may still buy it. Remember I said that if there was one of the older chemicals that I had to use it would be up to salad. It's still something I'd prefer to avoid if possible but it's the best of a bad bunch. This is currently £16 on Amazon so I think that's a really good price. This is a 50ml um, pump dispenser and I think that this is really handy. Um, let me tell you, let me prop up my little notebook and tell you what the claims are. The claims are that it's non-greasy, lightweight, with a silky texture texture that rapidly absorbs. Um, it has low molecular hyaluronic acid in it and anti-aging ingredients. Um, I had a look at the ingredients. I can't see, I don't know which ones they're talking about as being anti-aging because there's a lot of hydrating ingredients and there is obviously sun protection. And so those two things are anti-aging ingredients but over and above the hydrating that they talk about and the fact that this is a sunscreen i can't see what what specifically is the anti-aging the ingredients then in this are the number the two sunscreens at the top are octisalate and uvenol t so that's a good mixture together um, but it also has zinc and titanium dioxide in here but further down the list quite low down the list actually and i don't know if they're nano or not it doesn't say um, so this is a broad spectrum sunscreen it has no fragrance in and is vegan and cruelty free which is fantastic um, this definitely won't leave a white cast i will of course put a video of me and using it but you can see it is just like a cream that completely instantly disappears and there's no color at all to this so um, untinted which again seems to be what most of us want um, it doesn't sting my eyes I always make sure that I put this over my eyes you know right across my eyelids to see if there's any stinging and there isn't because I know some of you get that with the chemical sunscreens but I think because this is newer chemicals and a bit of a mix it's not you know your usual suspects um, great under makeup works really well under makeup for me I've tried it with a different a few different foundations and I've tried it with nothing else underneath it and it is really moisturizing it's one that I would actually say feels like skincare so um, it's not one do you remember when I did the review of the Naked Sundays one um, the Naked Sundays mineral sunscreen I put that on and was like oh wow my skin feels really really lovely after using it it feels nice going on and then my skin just feels amazing this one it feels lovely going on it feels really nice to apply and there's almost a cooling to it it's not anything to do with the ingredients you know it's not there's no menthol or anything in it it's not that intense but it's almost like it's so thin and maybe a little bit gel like that you can sort of feel the air against your skin you know that way and I was trying to think what is this close to you know what what is it like and I actually got two things out of my drawer this morning that I thought the first one I thought is that's this is what it's like it's like the ordinary natural moisturizing factor so let me put one of these on here I don't know if it will help you seeing it but um, I was rubbing them on my hands this morning comparing so that's the natural moisturizing factors and that is the SOS serum so you can see that they're very very similar um, the only difference is the SOS one absorbs slightly quicker and the the SOS serum is slightly silkier and sort of a little bit thinner ever so slightly like I think if I closed my eyes and did that I don't think I would know you know in a blind test I wouldn't know the difference between these two so it's very much like the ordinary national natural moisturizing factors although obviously the ingredients are very different and the other one I thought it felt a lot like was this one the BYBI day defense now this one is yellow so um, there is a difference in color and the BYBI one is a little bit thicker it's not quite as similar as it is to the natural moisturizing factors but it is that same sort of consistency um, so I have really enjoyed it. I do think it's a really good, it's really good value for money. It's a really good price um, and it, it feels lovely going on. It doesn't at all, you would never know you were putting on a sunscreen because it's not thick. You know, it, it absorbs super quick. I noticed actually, I noticed when I first put it on and I noticed when I filmed it for you guys that it is the one that looks the least oily or the least greasy when I'm putting it on on camera. So all of the rest, remember I said I was surprised, I watched it back, me applying it and was like, wow, my face is really greasy, but that sort of sunk in after putting on foundation and my makeup and everything was fine. But with this one, I didn't, I could see instantly it didn't look greasy at all. It had just absorbed. Um, 
but it was also very, very hydrating. So I think that's really hard to achieve in a formula. To get something that is hydrating, but not greasy, I think is really difficult, but this does achieve it. And, and especially with sun care, you know, especially to get the right protection. So I did really enjoy this, but my downsides to this are, number one, it's SPF 30. Um, I would, that will be absolutely fine and it would be one that I would use. I would use an SPF 30 during the winter, autumn, spring, um, because we don't really have a great big summer here in uh, Scotland. However, I do like to use an SPF 50 when there's any chance of sun. Um, and so I wouldn't use their SPF 50 because it has ever benzone in it. So that's one small downside that it's only an SPF 30. The other one to me is that it has octisalate in it and there is ones, there are ones that I love that don't have octisalate in it. Um, and not so much a downside of this, but one of the reasons I love other sunscreens more is I really like that sunscreen smell. You know, I try not to have fragrance in my skincare and this doesn't have fragrance in it. Um, but I miss the smell, I miss the experience. And so I love, you know, the natural smells that are okay. So you've got the sunscreen smell, you've got coconut, you've got cucumber, um, mint, you know, these things. I love things that smell like that. Um, and I so I love the sunscreen smell, for example, of my Carbon Theory Daylight. So I really enjoy using that one. That one is a lot thinner. However, it's a lot greasier than this, comparably. Um, I think if I was maybe, if my skin was getting to the oily stage again, I might, want to to turn to this because um that carbon theory one maybe would be this would be better than the carbon theory one i feel like for really oily skin this doesn't tell you if there's any nano ingredients in here i can't remember if i said that i'm so confused because i actually filmed this and i forgot to switch the microphone on i filmed two videos and there was no sound so this is my second time around um the other one of my favorite sunscreens or another favorite sunscreen is the face theory Amel C Whip that I've talked about before. And that one is not comparable really to anything. You know, why would I buy that one over this one? That one feels like skincare also, but it's it's a solid sort of cream. You know, you have to scoop some out and put it on your face, which, which is a pain really. That's also a downside for that one. But I love that one just from, it feels really, really nice on your skin. This one just feels, it feels lovely going on, like I said, but it just doesn't, there's nothing afterwards of, that's amazing. I'm not like, oh my God, my, my skin feels amazing. It's just like, all oh, right, okay, I'll put a nice moisturizer on. It's not too greasy. It's very hydrating. It's a nice base for my makeup. It kind of ticks all of the boxes. Like I said, the only box it doesn't tick for me is it's got oct octisalate in it um, and it's an SPF 30. Um, it's quite comparable to this. I don't know how I would um, decide between these two. I'd probably prefer this one simply because this one is yellow and I often wonder if I accidentally got this on my t-shirt or, or clothes would it stain you know I haven't noticed it so far but um these are pretty comparable so this is the BYBI day defense um the reviews on this are really good really good most people said like lots and lots of people said it was hydrating that seemed to be the biggest thing the biggest takeaway was this is super hydrating um but also how lightweight it was so it was lightweight absorbed quickly non-greasy hydrating one person i found one review that said it was drying you know there's always going to be one that has the opposite experience um, i don't know how that would be drying and there was also one that had an allergic reaction which i was extremely surprised at because i would recommend this for sensitive skin and i will you won't hear me saying that very often because normally i'll say you know this has tin as well but a minute that's been shown to cause allergies but there's nothing in here that has been shown to cause allergies that i can see that doesn't mean that there isn't an, an ingredient that you know you know you're allergic to or it could be that she thought it was this and it was actually something else you know it was actually something she ate or a perfume or something else i've done that many many times you know um but I was really surprised and I would recommend this for sensitive skin. There's, there's no fragrance. There's nothing in here that I can see would be a major problem. There's no scent to it at all. And like I said, it's really lightweight and but moisturizing. Um, it's a good all rounder. So I know that a lot of you were looking for my input on this and my feelings. So some of you have obviously already started using this or are thinking of buying it maybe. Um, so is one I would recommend. Um, as, as I always say about the octisalate, it's not, I, I can't say to you, you should avoid octisalate because that's not what I think. I don't think everybody should avoid octisalate. But I have got such a problem with hormone imbalance, you know, partly 
polycystic ovaries, partly my insulinemia that I have. You know, I have so many problems with, with hormones that I just want to be as safe as I can and avoid anything that has ever been thought to cause hormone disruption. And octisalate is on that list. Um, so it is, this is one that I would recommend. And it is even one that I would use going forward. Like I said, if I felt my skin was really oily, I think that certainly out of the ones I've tried recently, this is the one that feels the most matte when it goes on and that I would choose if I had oily skin. Um, but I also think this would be great for dry skin as well because there's no tightness at all and so many people are saying they have dry skin and they found it really hydrating. Okay, I've rambled enough. I just wanted to make sure I covered everything. So like I said, I've, I feel like I'm repeating things, but it may be from my, the other video that had no sound. <laughs> Let me tell you what I'm wearing. I've got on the Laura Mercier Silk Cream Foundation. Um, I have got on a Becca Matte Palette. I don't know what it's called. So I will link it for you. I got it from Amazon. Um, on my cheeks is an Elamasca blush in Lover. On my lips is a lipstick by Jaclyn Hill in Outspoken. And I think that's everything, isn't it? Yeah, oh, it's, you sometimes ask me about my nails. This is called Pajama Party from Madame Glam. So again, I'll try and link this for you because it is really, really pretty. It's not actually showing as, I wonder if I put a picture in of it. It's not showing as bright on the screen. I can see there it looks more sort of pink, but it's actually really, really bright, this. Um, yeah, that's everything. Thank you so much for watching and I'll speak to you again soon.